Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN, one-click protection for all your devices. Securing yourself could not be easier. Visit expressvpn.com slash inside. Welcome to Inside Gaming. I'm Brian. It's weekend roundup time. You know what time it is. So here's yet another story to illustrate the fact that your job really doesn't care about you. Now we're talking about Activision Blizzard. Oh, this is going to be good. So first part, not great. They laid off dozens of employees this week, but that didn't stop the CEO from calling collecting a massive bonus for himself. Uh, It's going to be one of those stories. So bad news first. Bloomberg reported that actually it's all bad news. I don't know why I said bad news first. Bad news first, second, third, fourth, and fifth in this story. So Bloomberg reported that the company layoffs included 50 people who handled esports and other live events. We don't have an exact number of how many people lost their jobs, but it reportedly affected less than 2% of the total workforce. But at Activision Blizzard, that means less than 190 90 people. Still though, if it's 1.9%, that's still a lot of people. Layoffs also affected King.com, a subsidiary, which of course makes Candy Crush and other games of that ilk. Bloomberg reported that the layoffs signaled that Activision Blizzard is moving away from in-person events. That makes sense. During the pandemic, a company spokesperson said that Activision Blizzard has had to adapt its business due to the impact that the pandemic has had on live events. Now, of course, their esports division is built around basically two main pillars, the Overwatch League and the Call of Duty League, which they both shifted to online events only this year. Now, the Sports Business Journal reported that the company could continue doing that for future events. So maybe that explains some of the layoffs. Uh, The people laid off. They got 90 days severance, health benefits for a year. Weirdly, $200 gift cards to Battle.net. Hey, we're sorry you lost your job. You know what? Uh, Enjoy some World of Warcraft for a little while. It's on us. No, really, it was nothing. But here's the kicker. Meanwhile, the company's CEO, Bobby Kotick, is about to get a huge cash payout of $200 million. Must be nice. How do I get one of those jobs? That's thanks to something in his employment agreement called a shareholder value creation incentive. Basically, the stock has been going up, so he gets paid. And a lot of times, the stock goes up when people get laid off. So there's a perverse incentive to fire people to get uh, paid yourself. Not saying that happened in this case, but... One shareholder group, the activist CTW Investment Group, is very mad about Kotick's little $200 million bonus, saying, while the increase in Activision's stock price is somewhat commendable, as we stated last year and continue to assert, this achievement alone does not justify such a substantial pay outcome for the CEO. Kotick, of course, is very, very highly paid, even before you think about bonuses. He made more than $30 million bucks in 2019. By comparison, analyst Daniel Ahmad pointed out that the CEO of Nintendo earns about two and a half million dollars a year. That's including bonuses. So there you go. Remember when Nintendo did really badly for a year and Iwata just took like a dollar salary? Bobby Kotick would never do that, ever. In his wildest dream, he has nightmares about doing that, but he would never do that for real. All right, we're going to get to the rest of the stories in just a second. But first, guys, let's talk about ExpressVPN. Roundup is brought to you by ExpressVPN. They've been a great sponsor for us for a long time. Let me ask you something, guys. If somebody tracked you around your home and wrote down everything you did and then sold that information, you'd be annoyed, right? That they sold your secrets and for money. Like, that's not cool. That's my, those are my habits. You don't need to know that I watched all of Justice League last night, that I stayed up late marathoning it. Because if anybody is gonna make money from knowing about your midnight cheesy cravings, that should be you, right? That's your business. But did you know your ISP tracks every website you visit? And yes, they can sell that information to ad companies and tech giants who would use that data to target you. That's why all of a sudden, when you when you get all those ads for cheese that you're like, how did that happen? And you're like, because you've been tracked. That's why it happens. Well, what if there was something that could stop your ISP from following you everywhere you go? ExpressVPN can stop this. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. So your online activity can't be seen by your service provider anymore. I use it on my laptop, my phone, everything. You can add it to a router. Then everybody who shares your Wi-Fi, they're protected. I work at home for Rooster Teeth. It protects my company's data while I'm at home. That's really important. Ditching your ISP, it's super easy. Open the ExpressVPN app, click one button, poof, encrypted wall between your data and the world. 
knowing about your cheese at consumptions, the fact that, you know, you watched Wizard of Oz last night, you tried to line it up with the Pink Floyd, you did that, that's how you spent your evening. That's your business. ExpressVPN is the number one rated VPN in the world by CNET, Wired, The Verge, and countless others. So if you're like me and you believe your online activity is your business, secure yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash roundup today. Use my exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash roundup and you can get an extra three months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash roundup. All right, on to other news. The acquisition of Bethesda really starting to pay off for Game Pass members. Game Pass, already great. It has become a absolute beast. Microsoft announced that 20 Bethesda games now on Game Pass, all the biggies, Skyrim, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, New Vegas, Doom Eternal, The Dishonored's Prey, Rage 2, the Wolfenstein games, the new ones, more. Then this week, they announced another wave of Game Pass games. Octopass Traveler, not a Switch exclusive anymore. Undertale. Oh, and the big news this week, the sci-fi RPG shooter Outriders is coming to Game Pass on day one on April 1st. Not an April Fool's joke. It's really happening. Also, don't pre-order games because, see, it might come to Game Pass and then you're like, oh, I got to get my money back. I think they are working out a thing where Outriders people can get a refund. Moving on, Sony must be feeling the heat from Game Pass because this week they announced a lot more free games as part of their Play at Home initiative in which they're basically giving us free games because, you know, a lot of us stuck at home during the pandemic and they're like, hey, here's some free games. You might remember last year they gave us Journey and Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. They also are making the 2016 Ratchet and Clank game available. And that's right now, you can pick that up. And starting March 25th, they'll have another round of free games, including good lineup, Abzu, Enter the Gungeon, Res Infinite, The Witness, Subnautica. But the real cherry on top will come April 19th when they're adding Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. That's crazy for free if you haven't played it. That's gonna be available April 19th through mid-May. So yeah, free games, always good. Move Moving on, if you've ever played GTA Online, you probably noticed that the load times, not that great. They're actually really bad. Well, one player who goes by Toast claimed earlier this month that they had figured out a way to cut those load times by 70%. Insane, right? Turns out Toast wasn't BSing. Rockstar actually incorporated Toast's fix into a patch, and now players are reporting huge improvements in load times on GTA Online. As a thank you, Rockstar gave Toast $10,000 through their bug bounty program that's normally reserved for like security and privacy bugs. But hey, you know what? Fixing load times, that is huge. So that person needs a job. I feel like somebody needs to hire Toast. I, I feel like they uh, get that, uh, they'll, they'll get a job somewhere. Turns out Jade Raymond was not out of work for long. The industry veteran who was most recently heading up Google Stadia's internal games division found herself out of work when Google announced they were getting out of the games making business. That was a bummer, but she announced this week that she has founded a new studio based in Montreal that's developing a new IP for PlayStation. Huh. It's called Haven Entertainment Studios. It'll have a lot of developers that Jay Raymond has worked with over the years. Oh, and Sony has invested an undisclosed amount of money into the studio as well. In a statement, Raymond said, we want to create worlds where players can escape, have fun, express themselves, and find community. We want to pour our passion into a project. We want to make something wondrous for people to experience. So there you go. Good luck. All right. Time for a five second review. This game combines my two favorite things, endless RPGs and cards. Wait, that sounded sarcastic. I'm being honest. I really liked it. All right, let's talk about the games coming out next week. First up, Overcooked, All You Can Eat. What does this have? It has All You Can Eat. Overcooked, Overcooked 2, and all additional content are blended together and remastered in this delicious definitive edition. Enjoy hundreds of levels of cooperative cooking chaos across increasingly perilous and obscure kitchens. They have some crazy kitchens. I've never tried to cook inside a moving vehicle and jump back and forth, but that's what you have to do sometimes in Overcooked. For the first time ever, online multiplayer has been fully integrated into 
to Overcook, revisit your favorite kitchens from the first game in online. It comes to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch March 23rd. Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. Welcome to Olive Town, a peaceful community established by your trailblazing grandfather and his friends. Now that you've taken over his farm, it's your job to carry on his legacy. That sounds really familiar. Just saying. Plant crops, raise animals, build relationships, and get to know the residents of your new home in this brand new entry that's not copying anything at all, although I guess started copying Harvest Moon, so. In the Story of Seasons series, it comes to the Switch in the US March 23rd and the Switch in the EU March 26th. Black Legend is a dark, immersive, turn-based strategy RPG, master tactical combat, and the art of 17th century alchemy to liberate a doomed city from a bloodthirsty cult inspired by the great alchemist Mephisto. It comes to PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch March 25th. Evil Inside is a first-person psychological horror game. After the death of his mother and the arrest of his father for it, Mark decides to contact her using the spiritual board. What could go wrong? But it fades away, and here's where it all begins. Mark will face his greatest fears to discover the truth. It comes to PS5 and PS4, March 25th. Yakuza 6? How far will you go for your family? Pretty far. I mean, they're my family. Three years after the events of Yakuza 5, Kazuma Kiryu, the Dragon of Dojima, returns in Yakuza 6, the song of life with the dream of living a quiet life. Upon his arrival, he discovers Haruka has been involved in an accident and has slipped into a coma, leaving her young son, Haruto, without care. Uh-oh. To protect this child, Kiryu takes Haruto to the last place Haruka was spotted, on Imichi, Hiroshima. There, a new and merciless world of Yakuza awaits the unlikely pair. It comes to PC, March 25th. I'm sorry about all my Japanese name pronunciations there. Balan Underworld is a wondrous action platformer game themed around the Balan Theater. Led by the enigmatic maestro named Balan, the stars of the show Emma and Leo will use special abilities from a multitude of characterful costumes as they venture in the bizarre and imaginary land of Wonderworld. Here, memories and vistas from the real world mix with the things that people hold dear. It comes to PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch March 26th. It takes two. Embark on the craziest journey of your life, and it takes two. Invite a friend to join for free with Friend Pass and work together across a huge variety of gleefully disruptive gameplay challenges. It comes to PC, PS4, and Xbox One March 26th. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 drop back in with the most iconic skateboarding games ever made. Play the fully remastered Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 in one epic collection, rebuilt from the ground up in incredible HD. It comes to the PS5 and Xbox Series X March 26th. Last up, we got a good one. Ooh, I'm excited. Monster Hunter Rise, the critically acclaimed action RPG series, returns set in the ninja-inspired land of Kamara Village. Explore lush ecosystems and battle fearsome monsters to become the ultimate hunter. Be prepared to put a million hours in this game because it's Monster Hunter. That's how we do things. It's been half a century since the last calamity struck, but a terrifying new monster has reared its head and threatens to plunge the land into chaos. Once again, it comes to the Switch March 26th. That's all the news I got for you this week, guys. I hope you're having a great weekend. We'll see you soon.